Hi everyone, I'm Shivam. Firstly, warm welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself. I'm studying in the US for almost three years now. This is my first video and I've started this channel to share my experiences of studying abroad with everyone. Please note that this is also a genuine effort to guide future international students like you to study abroad not only in the US but all across the world. I plan to visit many university campuses and review them on my channel from a student's perspective to guide those who are looking forward to study abroad. I would also meet my friends from other nations and discuss their opinion about study abroad to give you an even broader perspective about this process. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about the university where I study right now, University of Nebraska at Omaha. Let's not wait anymore, jump into this. This university has two campuses and we will start with North Campus first. The thing which you're looking at right now is dorms. This is University Village and it is located on the North Campus. Although it is one of the oldest, students still prefer living in here because it is closest to their classes. The average rent is about $650 to $700 a month. It is payable every single semester or every single academic year. Housing and residence life staff arrange fun events in these dorms to promote students who live on campus to get engaged with the communities. We are now seeing Maverick Village. It is another type of dorms on the North Campus. These are slightly more expensive than University Village because they are more spacious. Chemistry department in this university is academically one of the toughest, but it also makes students more competent in this field. Chris Library is very well equipped with wide variety of services and you'll often find students studying in here individually or with their groups. This is UNO's iconic clock tower. It is located in the center of the North Campus. Parking is one of the big issues on this campus because of limited parking spots, but Omaha offers broad network of bus services which can be used by university students and is free for them. The Wellness Center is a student-centered space dedicated for activities such as weightlifting, intramural sports, aquatics, etc.
Students interested in biology and related fields often choose this university because of its affiliations with the Nebraska Medical Center. Also, biomechanics is one of the fast-growing departments in this university, irrespective of the budget cuts. The place which we are watching right now is the student center which encompasses student organizations, center for Greek life, and food courts, all of which promote student involvement. Although this campus may appear a bit smaller as compared to other universities, it is home to about 16,000 students. The estimated cost of attendance for in-state students is about $23,000. On the other hand, for out-of-state residents such as international students, it is $36,000 excluding financial aids and grants. The monument which we are about to see is Arts and Sciences Hall, which is home to College of Arts and Sciences. It is the oldest building on campus which was built in 1938. We will now move to South Campus. The university provides shuttle services for the students to quickly transport them back and forth between both the campus. Information Science, Technology, and related fields are one of the well-known departments of this university, which is often preferred by incoming international students. Scott Crossing is one of the newest dorms of this university located on the south campus. The rent is slightly on a higher side, but students receive more amenities and assured security. As one of the students of this university, I think mobility is often an issue because some of the buildings are spread further apart from the campus. College of Business Administration is one of the most heavily funded departments by the university, as most of the students who graduate from the university bear a degree related to finance, marketing, or business administration. So this was the overview of this university from a student's perspective like me. I think reviews like these will genuinely help anyone looking forward to study abroad in every possible way. I have personally went through the study abroad process in India myself and I know that consultants in India are good at guiding us for exam preparations and things like visa applications, but they fail to give us the insights necessary to streamline the right university for you. Now listen to this, a university which is suitable for somebody else may not be suitable for you just because you're not the same person. In my opinion, you should carefully consider the idea of study abroad before you get involved in the process to know if it is the right decision for you. Again, selecting the right university is a very important part of this process. So if you're looking forward to study abroad and looking forward to guidance, consider emailing me on my email address, which I will link in the description. Again, if you're looking forward to more reviews, stay tuned to my channel. In the future, I'll visit many other university and you can know my reviews about them. In the end, I would like to mention that study abroad is more than just top-notch education and earning money. It is about growing as a human being and expanding your sphere of comfort. Thank you for watching.